The old Newcomb Hotel sits in a pile of rubble at 4th and Main Streets in Quincy, but somewhere beneath these piles of bricks and drywall lies about 220 square feet of tile contaminated with asbestos. Quincy Building Inspector Michael Seaver says the news came after an inspection a couple of years ago when a developer called Three Diamond Development became interested in renovating the property. We were provided with a copy of that which showed just a small amount of floor tile, uh, category one non-friable asbestos in the floor tile on, on certain levels of the building. But that survey that was done was done for renovation and not for demolition and so the difference being that in a pre-demolition inspection they would open up wall cavities and things like that. It hadn't been an issue until recently when a September 6 fire destroyed the vacant building. Due to safety concerns, the city contracted with Blix Construction to demolish the building down to the first story. But before the city can proceed with the cleanup, it must pay for an additional person on site to monitor any traces of asbestos mandated by the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. We'll have a uh, competent person on site at the whole time the material is being removed to monitor air qualities and to observe the materials as they're being removed and if they identify any anything that looks suspicious then it'll be treated differently and taken to a designated place in the landfill. Andrew Mason with the IEPA says the amount of asbestos found was not much comparable to a small room. He says he's confident construction crews will handle the debris removal responsibly and properly. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Quincy.